Hey guys, what's up? I know it's been a while since I've made a video, and I do apologize, but my family came down for Christmas, so I was doing other stuff on my two days off from work, and and it's been since last year that I've made a video, since it's, you know, Happy New Year, by the way, because it's 2015, but I don't... I figured I'd show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my G3 that entire time. You guys seen that I made a video on CM12, but this ROM, it's so much smoother and it has longer battery life for me I've been tethering my phone to my computer and everything waiting on Comcast and it just works so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys this ROM has a lot of customization that others don't probably tell by my status bar and everything but um to download and install I will I use hang on let me just show you guys grant that of course go to my downloads but I use what's called the mini lollipop something. Where is it? I don't use the PA G apps anymore because, you know. Oh, I use, I think it's these ones. The G apps lollipop. But they're like, they only include like the Play Store. No, it's this one. Alright. But it includes the Play Store, Gmail, and I think like four other Google apps. So if you need a lot of Google apps, I suggest just downloading them from the Play Store, but if you wanted to, you could use the PAG apps, but I, I don't. But I will leave a link below to this ROM and also the G apps, so you guys can go ahead and read through the thread. And there are no issues for me. See, I'm getting LTE just fine. Bluetooth is connected to my Moto 360. It works with my speaker. Wi-Fi tethered. I'm tethering to my computer right now. Everything just works. Um, you don't get any crazy apps out of the box. Everything here I installed. If you guys have any complaints about the volume, I use Viper for Android or Volume Boost. But I figured to go to settings. You see that there is a dark theme going on. It looks pretty nice, I think. Um, I do have a new cat. So if he attacks my camera during the making of this video, I do apologize. But you see we are running on Android 5.0.2 and here's all that other build stuff. This is the December 28th build. It is the current one, I believe. You can view the change log if you wanted to, but you know. They do post all that stuff on the XDA thread. So let's go ahead and head up to, you get home, you can choose your home launcher, and then we have interface. So under quick settings, you know how in KitKat, you could pull down from the right or left and it automatically went to your quick settings. I don't use this because if you just pull down and pull down again and they're automatically there. So, but I mean if you really wanted to I guess you could. But here's where you can change the clock. See I have mine in the center, AM, PM, date. You, you can also have it to where it shows the day, and, you know, other stuff like that. But Network traffic is of course, you see uh, I have my network. Now the battery, I actually kind of like the little circle battery, but it's it's easier for me to just see the percentage at work because I don't have to worry about my battery dying, you know, if it's like 80%. So Show weather, brightness control, notification ticker, and double tap to sleep. This also has the double tap to wake, just like the stock G3. Show search and recents. Um, I noticed that, just ignore that post on Twitter, I noticed that this keeps all of your recent apps even if you reboot your phone I've rebooted my phone a few times and they're all still there I mean it's nice I don't really mind that but if you wanted to close them all you could just hit close all but you notice that they just kind of stay in there you do have the per app expanded desktop which I love say if, if you go to Chrome so you will just open to Chrome it hides the notification bar notification bar and hides the status bar if you want them to swipe up We'll go to recents, and I mean it's just that's probably the best feature for this because there's some of those games where they don't hide the notification bar, and if you hand your phone to your nephew who's six years old and he starts to play a game, then he hits the home and he goes to other stuff and you don't want him to. Then we have animations where you can change the animations of you know scrolling and everything else. I don't really do that. I just kind of leave the default because. It looks okay, and I guess it works okay. You do have a wake lock blocker. You have a gesture anywhere. 
Again, I don't really use this. If you do, I guess you can just kind of read up on XDA. And then this is kind of like that ribbon thing. I don't know if you guys remember that from AOKP. Where is AOKP? But, you know, you can get that. It's also kind of like pie, I guess. But I mean, that's kind of it for the customizations. Not really much going on. The good thing is that everything just kind of works out of the box. You see, I am using this on T-Mobile, and it works great for GSM ROMs. I don't know why I'm using a Verizon phone when I'm a T-Mobile customer, but yeah. But I mean, everything just works. If I didn't cover something that you guys wanted to see, just go ahead and let me know, and I'll try to get onto that. But yeah, everything just it works. No issues. Camera records just fine. Takes pictures, dials fine, connects to your network just fine. I did have an issue on the first boot though, where it wouldn't load my data. But then I just rebooted after that and it picked up just fine and I haven't had any issues since. So I mean, if you do have any issues, just reboot your phone and I guess that'll fix it. It fixes it for me. If it doesn't, just leave a comment below and I'll try to help you guys out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more. Leave a comment below and let me know and I'll make another video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.